All right, guys, welcome to a very, very, very quick video. I've got extremely exciting news today. Raffle Lich King is a thing. It's coming out. No date, but it is coming out in 2022. And what I want to talk about today is all the changes that they're going to implement. And I'll also talk about the, uh, the new expansion as well. Everything about that is going to be a very quick TLDR. Hopefully get it done in two to three minutes. So first thing, definitely getting Death Knights in the pre-patch. That is totally confirmed. Uh, another thing, anyone can make them. You don't have to get to level 55 before you can make a Death Knight. Unfortunately, there will be a level 70 character boost, but you cannot, I repeat, you cannot use that on a Death Knight. You can use it on any other class fill, obviously. Next thing, the barbershop. So things like changing your skin color and other things that you could only normally change in the character creation menu rather than in the barbershop, that's all being added to the barbershop. You don't have to pay to change your skin color or anything like that. That's all I've been added to the barbershop. So barbershop's been totally enhanced, very similar to how it is on retail. Next, absolutely no dungeon finder in the whole of Raffle Lich King, which is a fundamentally, ama nearly swarden, an amazing change, very welcome. Also, no such thing as arena teams. There's going to be no arena teams. Arena, arena rating is going to be totally based on like a personal rating rather than arena team rating. Show clarify, there is no confirmation whether there's going to be faction changes and other paid, you know, website services like that. Oh. Sorry, the video messed up there very briefly. Now, the new expansion is called well, World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Dragon Isles, everything that was confirmed, like, well, everyone, everything that was leaked was basically just confirmed, and it was leaked to, well, leaked more severely to creators, so I already knew that this whole expansion was going to be a thing. Anyway, what we're getting is the Dragon Isles. We're getting Dragon People, like a Dragon King kind of race. It does have its own unique name, but I've totally forgot the name of. So we're getting Dragon People. They basically are a race, but are also a class as well. So basically, if you make a dragon person, you can only play an evoker. If you make an evoker, you can only play a dragon person. So it's a new, new race and the class combo just as one thing. So like a dragon person can't be a warrior. That's how I'm understanding it anyway. They can be a ranged DPS or a healer. They start at level 58. And other great changes that have been added, actually, which are kind of making me con half convinced to try out this new expansion, is they've totally revamped up the talent system to make it more similar to the old talent system in Classic WoW. They've also totally revamped the UI to basically update it a bit. They're making the professions a little bit more impactful, a little bit more like vanilla Wood of Warcraft. There's also this new work order system where you can put a work order, say you want a particular weapon made, I want, I want this weapon, I'm going to get the mats, I'm going to get the money for it, and then a blacksmith will make it for you. Kind of like the auction house, but a profession version of the auction house. There's also a new dragon riding system. They've basically enhanced flying mounts. So the flying mounts, you don't just like jump on it and you're at max speed straight away and you run around like that. You know, you can do dive bombs, you can do flips, and basically just making the flying in the game a little bit more interesting to play with a bit more features. There's also going to be a customizable dragon mount where you can choose its color, different scale patterns, and I'm presuming things like that. And that, guys, is going to be end of the video there. My name is Mini Goblin. To my next video, ciao.